Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Travis P11, and today we are taking a look at the Monstrum Banshee LPVO Low Power Variable Optic. Uh, this is a 1 to 6 magnification by 24 millimeter reticle scope. Um, it is a good budget friendly uh, kind of entry level option that you can get if you want to go into uh, LPVOs. We're talking about $129 um, roughly over on the Monstrum website, and that's as of May of 2023. Now, first of all, shout out to, uh, to Monstrum Tactical who sent us this optic, actually a couple of them, to give away for Thunder in the Prairie 2023, which you've probably heard a lot about if you've been watching my channel. Uh, basically, it's a gathering of YouTubers and gun tubers. It's a two-day range event, and we have a lot of sponsors on board, and Monstrum was one of them. And then also shout out to Defense Dad. Uh, check out the Defense Dad channel. I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this channel, or at the end of this video, and uh, you can check him out because he's the one that made the arrangements with Monstrum to make this happen. So we're just going to go through the features real quick taken from the uh, Monstrum website. What do you need to know about the Banshee real quick? Uh, like I had mentioned before, we're talking about a price of $129.95. It only comes in black right now. Basic features real quick, 1 to 6 by 24, uh, second focal plane, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, illuminated MX1 reticle with MOA hash marks, and we'll show you a picture of that reticle here in a little bit. Uh, full multi-layer lens coating, 60-61 aircraft grade aluminum, uh, fits rifles with Picatinny rails, uh, close to mid-range, 300 plus yards of engagement, 1 to 6 magnification, uh, 24 millimeter um, objective diameter. If you want to mount it to your rail, you're talking 20 to 25 inch pounds, and then the scope ring torque is 18 inch pounds. Uh, get yourself a wheeler fat wrench if you don't you should have one already anyway uh, tube diameter is 30 millimeters eye relief is 3.5 to 3.8 inches which is pretty dang good that's how far away you can get from the rear of the lens in order to see through the lens properly you don't have to be really close to it weight is 17 ounces which is pretty much on par with a lot of optics in this price point or just with this type of magnification uh, the length is 11 inches now, it does say black or FDD, FDE. I don't see FDE on the website right now, but it could be on there when you go to the Monstrum website. Uh, it is water and fog resistant, nitrogen sealed, and it does have a lifetime warranty, which is another bonus, and that's something that Monstrum is definitely uh, stepping up to to compete with the competition. So, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Let's check out just the overall fit and finish, see how it is. Um, again, that reticle, it's the MX-1. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's basically almost like a square that's got a red uh, outline of the square with, the, with your typical uh, crosshairs on it and some marks. If not, I'll put that up there for you guys too. And Monstrum's definitely upping its game here um, in terms of what they're offering people and the prices they're offering it for. Uh, we were also doing a test of the uh, Ghost uh, Red Dot and also Magnifier, which is gets you into a magnified Red Dot system for around 200 bucks, if not a little bit less, which is really cool. You know, you don't have to worry about spending $1,000 to just kind of get started or get something that's going to work for you. Again, prominent Monstrum Lifetime Guarantee going on there. All right. Uh, let's check out that offset cantilever mount. Uh, these are really nice because essentially it's going to center the optic over the top of your rifle without having a bunch of it hanging off the back. You can pretty much set it how you want to. Not sure if I'm going to be taking off the iron sight on the rifle we're going to have it mounted to. I'm going to try to see if it'll clear it. If it doesn't, it's not a problem. I'll just take off the iron sight and uh, put it back on later on. We are going to run this on a Daniel Defense DDM4A1, so I'm pretty excited to test it out as I've never used any kind of a magnified optic before on that particular rifle. I've taken it to the range a couple times. I absolutely love it. Okay. Go ahead and get this out of here real quick. Pretty excited because, like I said, we've got a couple of these. One of them, uh, we have a shooting competition the first day of Thunder on the Prairie. And you have an opportunity to win one of these. And then the second, well, and then later on in the afternoon, we have a drawing for all the attendees. And we're going to give away a second one. Again, very lightweight, 11 ounces. It will add a little bit of weight to your rifle, but not much. Let's just check the knobs here. It goes from... 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, half steps up to 4, 5, and 6, which is really cool. And again, it is tight, okay, but it's not super loose. does feel very well made. Overall, the finish is nice and uniform. There's no scratches or dings. Everything looks really good. Waterproof, fogproof, shockproof, okay. Flip up uh, lens covers on the front and the back. We do have an adjustable diopter on the back here, so you can sharpen things up a little bit if you need to. All right, let's go ahead and check out the uh, the turret system we have here. It looks like it does have red and green uh, light-up reticles, so you do have your brightness adjustments right there. And let's go ahead and take these off and see what we got. So one half inch at 100 yards, those are gonna be your MOA adjustments. Okay, that's pretty much uh, standard, which is great, up or down, where, whichever way you want your uh, impact point to go. Ooh, nice clicks, nice audible, solid clicks. I'm really impressed with just the hardware overall that Monstrum has been bringing their game up with. It's it's cool because, you know, they're definitely stepping up the quality uh, for the price point. I think that's a good thing. 
and uh, not bad, not bad. Are these, no, they're not O-ring sealed, but I'm assuming that the, uh, the turrets are sealed if it is waterproof, so. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this mounted and we'll just kind of talk a little bit about it. You can see what it looks like when it's on there and then we will take it to the range and test it out. Probably run some 55 or 62 grain meat ammo through the uh, through the rifle and see how well it prints and just talk about the overall experience. Oh, real quick, what is the second fo focal plane in case you're kind of curious? Um, there's front, there's first focal plane and second focal plane. Second focal plane tends to be a little bit less expensive to produce. Uh, it says it refers to the fact that your reticle is located behind your magnification lens. And this means that as you increase your magnification power, your reticle remains the same. And then they give some examples uh, on the Bushnell website. So that's essentially second focal plane. Uh, if you wouldn't have told me that, I'd probably have no idea because I just use glass. I <laughs> zoom in where I want it to go and zero it, and then I just shoot. So, all right, let's go and get this mounted to the DDM4A1, and then we will go hit the range. Hang tight. And of course, I forgot to show something here, guys. You do have your lens cloth, which is good to have, and then also your battery and your wrenches are also included. Probably something you should know about, although I'll be using my fat wrench to mount the hardware and get it all set up. All right, let's get her. Let's get her mounted. Okay, guys. So here we go. It is mounted. I took off my EOTech EXPS34, which, by the way, only weighs six ounces less than this entire optic. Uh, really, I don't even notice the extra weight on the top when I do hoist the the rifle up. Just looking out the window with it, uh, it does have excellent light gathering, very low distortion, uh, a very very low distortion, if any at all, even at six magnification, which is awesome. Does clear the uh, Troy battle sight, the rear battle sight, and man, um, eye relief is awesome on this. This is probably too far back because with the stock all the way down and this on one power, I almost need to back my head up a little bit. So at some point, you know, if I ever get one of these for myself, which I probably will, I'm going to move it up one slot but uh, I don't feel like moving it right now because it looks pretty good. So we have the rings properly torqued in. We've got the rail properly torqued in on the uh, awesome M4A1 rifle, and I am pretty happy with it so far. Uh, we'll see how well it performs. The reticle is easy to see. One thing about it I do notice, and I may swap out the battery before we go because Monstrum does give you a second battery uh, for free, which is really cool. Uh, the red and green is a little hard to see just looking out the window in a bright sunny day, so that might be more of a low light uh, thing, but again, you've got a black reticle anyway, so you know, unless you really think you need that lighting, uh, you're probably not gonna be able to use that much during a bright daytime engagement, just so you know. So yeah, let's just go ahead and hit the range let's run a little mead ammo down the pipe and let's see how well she runs all right guys hang tight here we go it's a little easy so we're gonna do uh 25 yards 55 grain then 62 then 77 all right so we're gonna do three different types of ammo and just see how differently it patterns running the monstrum tactical banshee okay here we go Okay, 62 grand, here we go, 62 grand. Alright, let's switch to 77. 77. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one just like it with a scope on it. Yeah, yeah, you had to, 
it was, wasn't that a, 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 a silver, silver one? Got it. Oh, same thing. Oh. All right, guys, here we go. Target on the right. Um, I'm actually filming with two different rifles today, two different optics. Target on the right, meat ammo 55 grain to start off, then 62 and 77. Let's see if it performs just as good at 50 yards with the uh, 77 grain as it did at 25. And uh, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and send it. I really do appreciate that one to six magnification. Very nice, nice clear glass. No distortion at six times magnification at all. All right, here we go. Trying to zero this out. We're going over here. Twenty two for that. As you wish. Uh, 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 Now, just remember, this was zeroed at 25 yards, so that's going to definitely have some lift. So it's not the optic that's causing the climb. Let's go get our targets and see how well it performed. Uh, again, what we're looking for is just tightness of group. It's okay if there's some lift or some drop. I would probably go back and re-zero this at 50 or even 100 yards. Uh, all right, let's go check our targets and see how we did. Now look guys, I'm not going to be a Daniel Defense fanboy because I have many different rifles. I've shot some of the cheapest rifles out there. In fact, one of my favorites is just an old Bear Creek Arsenal AR that I paid 400 bucks for. But this thing is so stinking accurate. So we got a one in seven twist. I believe it is a 14 and a half inch barrel. Uh, with a 2 inch pin and welded or 2.1 inch pin and welded flash hider on the end of it. So 55 grain, uh, meat ammo here, right? We had, I, I don't know where the third shot went. I gotta go back and watch the video. I, I don't think I put two through the same hole, so we're not gonna count this one, okay? Because if we did, it'd be 0 0.31. Let's not count it. Uh, 0 0.40 on three shots, two through the same hole, two that just overlapped each other, 0 0.46. 0 0.86 is the average on 55 grain. Again, just, you know, six times magnification with the LPVO. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, 62 grain, things opened up quite a bit. And I noticed this also when I tested the Monster Tactical, the Ghost, on top of one of my other rifles and this rifle, that the 62 grain definitely opens up. So 1.38 inches, 1.07 inches, two through the same hole, just about. And then 1.38 inches, uh, I'm sorry, 1.71 inches for a total of 1.38 inches, and that was 1.07. So it did definitely open up quite a bit going from 55 to 62. I'm probably not gonna run 62 in the DDM 4A1 like I thought maybe I would. Uh, we're definitely either gonna go 55 or 77. You're gonna see why in just a moment. So again, just at 25 yards, just using that Banshee. 0.26 of an inch, three shots overlapping. 0.35 of an inch, just three shots barely spread out. 
and then 0.45 of an inch with two shots basically going through the same hole, just overlapped ever so slightly. Uh, that was 0.76 of an inch, 0 0.35, 0 0.26. Average is 0.45 of an inch. So I'm gonna be running 77 grain from here on out for meat ammunition in the DDM 4A1. That's at 25 yards. All right, let's go and check out 50 yards. Okay, so here we go. What happened here? Things did open up a little bit. Again, it's an increased distance. I did zero at 25, so it does show you, you know, the shots obviously are gonna rise just because you're going out to a certain distance. And when you zero at 25 yards, you're gonna be really high at 100. Uh, if I do this again and actually buy this optic, this Banshee, we'll be siding in at least 50 and then we'll take it out to 100. But anyway, what do we got? 55 grain, 1.07, 0.554, 1 1.29, 0.97 of an inch with just some basic meat ammo, 55 grain, 0.62. Things opened up just like they did at 25 yards, right? 1.91, 2.156, and 1.34 for 1 1.8 inches total. Again, almost double the spread going from 55 to 62. And uh, again, this is a one to seven twist. Then 77 grain. Hey man, we bring it back together. 1.03, 1.367, and 1.65 for a total of 1.3 inches. So definitely better than 62, but worse than 55. But the last thing I will say is this last three shots, I took very little time off between the shots when I did this. This was all done probably within three to four minutes. That barrel was getting pretty hot towards the end. We could have a little string in that was starting to go on. I don't know. But uh, at 50 yards, the Banshee is just awesome. I really do like it. Distortion, very low. I mean, it's it's one of those things. I'm pretty much convinced I need to run an LPVO on this particular rifle, uh, especially if I think about going past, you know, say 50 yards. All right, so let's bring it back for a few final words. Okay, guys, so we are back home. The rifle is all clear. You can see the chamber flag in there. Uh, thoughts on this, man? You know, for $129, mount included, the Banshee is a great way to get into an LPVO. So shout out to Monster Tactical for uh, sending us this optic, and this is going to be giving away a Thunder on the Prairie. I did tighten the screws a couple times during shooting. Uh, if you're going to put it on whatever rifle you put it on and you know that you want to keep it on there, definitely put some blue Loctite on there. Uh, nice and clear. It was an overcast day. It was not very bright out. And so I did have some great light gathering abilities from, uh, from the glass itself, and the reticle was super easy to use. It was very simple to put around the dots that I was shooting at. It would probably even be better on, say, a silhouette target or maybe some steel targets, but man, just ran like a boss. And so $130 optic on a very expensive rifle. Uh, would I consider putting one on there? If it proves to be reliable and it is durable, if it can take a little bit of abuse, I'd consider just running one on there. I mean, I, you know, I, I test all kinds of different optics on this channel. And uh, again, this is just a treat for me, to be take, for me to be able to take out the DDM 4A1. So Monster Tactical, the Banshee, you guys definitely have a winner. This thing is awesome. You know, I didn't put a ton of rounds through it, but we did shoot it, it did hold zero. Uh, it was a lot of fun to shoot. I love the magnification on it. It would be perfect for engagements out to say 200, maybe 300 yards. You know, your mileage may vary. Uh, but that's it. This is Travis B. Love, and thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We have more content coming your way. Uh, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.